Welcome to this new kit bash tutorial video. It's more like a uh, not really a kit bash along video, but I want to show you the process of converting uh, the Tau Commander Shadow Sun into something similar to this um, Black Phalanx trooper in exosuit. For this I will mainly use the Commander Shadow Sun kit along with parts from the Necromunda Ambot and stuff from my bits box, mainly um, Adeptus Mechanicus bits like from the Iron Striders, from the Tech Priest, not the Tech Priest, the Electro Priest for little um, Adeptus Mechanicus icons and stuff, and the Catafron Breaches are always a nice kit to have because they have lots of extra parts and cables and stuff, cannons, whatever. Um, I will make, or I will try to make f a few short uh, videos and cut them together to a full episode so you may be able to follow this better instead of my usual um, just hit the record button and then go on and on and on. Um, for the first stage I have assembled um, the part 1A and have blue tacked the legs together just to have a uh, simple uh, view of the model as it would be. I used not too much glue to glue the aquila wing uh, onto the base so I can uh, pull it off later if I want to and as said the aim of this video series will be to create a similar version, a female version of this exosuit, kind of. So, let's get started. Before we will really um, go into full kit bashing, it may be good to build a few more parts of the model, like the uh, upper body and arms in as many separate parts as possible, so we can stick the original model together and see what we want to uh, replace and convert later. Um, I will build these uh, parts now and I won't record it, so um, I will show you in a few seconds what we got. Do do do, we have problems again with the light like that. So the next step will be, as mentioned before, building the torso consisting of those uh, three parts shown here. Um, I will leave the front part of the torso in the sprue because this is the most towish um, piece we have on the body and now we have like yeah like the base of the model roughly assembled so now let me show or let me tell you about the uh, main idea uh, I want the front of the torso to be as imperial as possible with some kind of uh, female helmet, maybe um, a helmetless head from the Adeptus Sororitas, I don't know yet. I might uh, have a look into the penitent engines. Um, some less armored um, arms of the 
uh, uh, occupant of the suit, like the black phalanx one has, and of course the Tau weaponry will be replaced with uh, more imperial guns, and then the task will be to remove all the parts that are special to uh, Tau technology and replace them with stuff that's more imperial and more adeptus mechanicus. That's the idea so far, so let's see where we go with this. Okay, so what do we have? We have Cataphron Servitus. I probably uh, want to use um, this Opus Machina somewhere. Then uh, those parts from the uh, small Converticons are always cool to use. We have um, little tubes and claws here. I think this claw would be nice as a kind of um, appendage on her foot there. We may have to um, cut off the model right here so she gets the same height as the guy. But maybe we will leave it there and elevate that one. I don't know yet. Um, also we have the emble mainly for armor parts like this little gripplies and sensors like that and yeah we'll see M maybe we will um, remove parts of the jump pack or use uh, stuff of this model to reinforce or blend over certain parts of that because she has to be bigger as intended so the bulk uh, for matches this one I mentioned the electro priests before they have some nice cabling and stuff and they also have like these um, iron halos or you want to call it uh, 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 the iron strider has some nice foot claws over here and we have loads of um, pins and stuff that we can use to replace the knee joints and stuff like that uh, castle and robots might be uh, nice to have but um, yeah feel free to use anything that looks Imperial, that's only the kits I am using as soon as I have the parts that I want to use uh, clipped out of the frame. I will um, show you which one I used and from which kit these were. So let's get started. So here we are again. Sorry that um, this took me a while, there yeah, lie a few weeks. Uh, between this part and the last. So um, I've quickly blue tacked the first version of the model together um, using the bare head from the um, Adeptus Sororitas kit as mentioned. The front plate is from a um, uh, not from the Catafron breaches but the uh, um, castle and robots arms are from <coughs> Tempestus Giants um, the left arm over here with the sword is Cataphracti no it's Tartarus sorry Tartarus Terminators whereas the shoulder pads are from the Cataphracti uh, captain from the betrayal at Calc box and the right arm with the storm assault bolt rifle whatever is from the easy to build 
um, Primaris Marines from the Dark Imperium box. So instead of um, giving her two guns like the uh, original ish model, I decided to give her a close combat weapon or it's it's could be one option to give her a close combat weapon to make her a little bit different from the from the heavier one make her more elegantly if you like so I also have accumulated um, tons of bits that sprang to my eye due to their um, static there's there's loads of loads of parts from the new Adaptus Titanicus games. Let's see if we can focus. So not only did the focus not work, um, also the recording stopped due to whatever reasons and now I have problems with my tablet holder. Nice. So yeah, what you you always get the full video without cuts and stuff. And when we have this problem solved, ah, come on! Da, 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 da. I hate making videos. That will work. Okay, so. Um, zooming in on the whole thing uh, didn't work, so I found out a few minutes ago that putting the thing in front of the camera works pretty well. I also uh, put a name to nearly every um, piece that lies in this plastic box. I won't do so again. Um, it's mainly um, Adeptus Mechanicus stuff. It's also stuff from um, the new Adeptus Titanicus game, like the uh, Knights Castellan or the, the Lancers. Very bad with um, uh, the names of the, all the, the newly uh, released release stuff, so I'm sorry. I have um, looked for a few other weapon options, um, details like um, boots, um, shoulder guards, wings from Sanguinary Guard, uh, different weapons so that I have a rough assortment of stuff, heavy boulder, <coughs> everything that uh, will make the model look more imperial and everything that has um, yeah cables or nuts or bolts or something like that on it that we can easily with with which we can easily replace uh, all the towish um, details on the model like on the side of the legs and um, stuff like that so the whole um, building and detailing um, process um, takes quite a while. I will try to uh, record um, as much of it as possible. Um, I don't really know when the next episode uh, will hit YouTube, but I hope that um, you have enjoyed uh, this one so far and that you can forgive me uh, my little blubbers and not knowing all the names of the newly released Primaris Marine stuff. Hope you enjoy, stay tuned for the next episode and be excellent to each other. Mm -hmm.